In this video, I want to give you a short demonstration of how you can create simple display pages. In the dashboard, you can see the pages pane on top of the dashboard, and you can open it by clicking on the page's name, and you can see that it's empty. But you can add one by simply clicking on the Add button and choosing Blank Page. You see a blank page appear, and you can change its name immediately. Let's say it's page one, and I can click on it, and a menu will appear. Let me select Edit in this menu. And if I do, it takes me to the display designer. In the designer, you see the big white box on the right, which represents the page that we're going to do, going to design. And on the left, you see several elements that you can add to a page. Let's start with a few basic elements, being a box, a text element, and we have an image element. We'll focus on these three for this video. When I click on the box element, you'll see a small box appear on the empty page. And I can drag it around, position it anywhere I like, and like so. And I can resize it by dragging any of the four black corners that you see in here. Resize it to any size I like. Okay, each element has its own properties that I can set in the properties pane on the left hand side. And for this box, you can see that we have a color property. Clicking on that, you can see that we can uh, change the color to red, yellow, any of the predefined colors. But you can also set any color, or tweak any color in any way you like, like so. OK, so if you find the correct color, you click OK. And then you can continue with the other properties, like transparency, for example. Transparency works with a slider, which varies between 0 and 100. I can do it like so, but I can also fill out the desired transparency value immediately in this text box that you see over here. And it will set transparency slider and the transparency of the element itself to the correct value. For now, I'll leave the transparency set to 0, and I'll show you how the border size works. I can increase the border size, and you see a border appear around the box. Border size is 50, and I can change the border color as well. And that works in exactly the same way as the box's background color. And finally, uh, I'll skip this one for later. Uh, I'll show you the delete button, which does exactly what it says. Clicking it will ask, are you sure that you want to delete this element? And when I click OK, it is gone. And that's how deletion works for all of the elements on a page. All right, so now let's start from the beginning again. Uh, another way of getting an element onto a page is by simply dragging it on there, just not clicking on it, but just dragging it. And let's say I want to have a orange box, and let's set that as a background for a page. Just make it a page filling block like so. And I'm going to show you how a text element works. Um, if you drag on a text element, you can see that it has a default text, which says your text here. And it's the same one that you see in the properties pane over here. And I can change it in any text I like. Uh, let's say any text I like, for example. Uh, that can get very long. As you see, it just keeps on going. And if you want to have that same representation in your properties pane, you can easily resize that text box over here to get that same look. And I can spread that over multiple lines, like so. Then I have a font type. Uh, we have several nice font types that you can use. It can be fat ones, or more technical ones, or more handwritten ones. Let's pick a very fun one like this one, Mountains of Christmas. And you can see that you can also set the font size just like we did with the transparency and the border size by dragging the slider from left to right. And you can adapt the font color in the same way that we did with the other elements, the transparency and you can set it to be a bold font type or a normal font type. And this one is interesting. It's the alignment. So you can align the text in the middle, to the right, or to the left, like so. 
Let's set it to the middle. Let's resize a bit. And now I want to show you the ones that you see here. You can move any of the elements to the back or to the front. And for example, by selecting this one, it will move the text to the back of uh, the previous element, which is the box element. So clicking it will make it disappear. And you can simply drag the box aside and you can see that the text is behind that box over there. You can get it back by just moving it to the front again, like so. And that's how it works for all the elements. And finally, you have the delete button again, which I'll skip for now. And last but not least, I'll put on the um, image element. I can choose a file from my hard disk. Let's, uh, let's see, display demo, this one. I can upload it into my image catalog. And as you can see, once it's uploaded, it's here and it's selected immediately. So I can say use selected image and it's on my page. I can position it anywhere I like and I can also resize it anywhere any way I like to any size. Note that it maintains the aspect ratio of the image so that you don't um, bend it out of shape so that it stays nice as it's meant to be. And there's just one other property of an image which is uh, modifying the transparency like so, which we've seen before. And that's kind of it. Now once you're done, you click on the save button and it will say that it saved successfully and you can go back to the dashboard. And there it is. There are a few other options that you have on the page. You can simply copy one and it will uh, set it into the rename mode immediately. You can also s uh, rename it explicitly. Let's say to three. And obviously now that we have a copy, we can modify that separately. Like so, for example, save that and we go back, you can see that we have two different pages right there. And finally, you can delete individual pages as well. And there we are. Well, this is basically how you create a page in Bisplay with some basic elements. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Good luck.